Hello and welcome to part 11 of the WFCC Learners Corner. In this video, we'll be looking at Argentinian twins and some of the different elements present in a composition to make it look more appealing. So first of all, Argentinian twins is a hybrid problem that has the stipulation of A, help mate and end moves, and then B, help steel mate and end moves. So a help mate, as you all know, is black, white, black, white mates. And the help stalemate will be black, white, black, white stalemate. So for more depth of each of the subparts, check out the previous videos in the description below. Now, what is a model mate or model stalemate? Well, it is a type of pure mating pattern where three things must be fulfilled. The all weakened squares around the checkmated king, where the checkmated king can go to, are attacked only once. All units of the mating side, except for king and pawn, participate in the mate. And finally, the squares in the king's field occupied by the friendly units are not also attacked by the mating side, only unless it is pinned. So, to look into these two things in more depth, let's look at the first prize of the recently concluded Armin Gister 70JT by Marian Kovatovich. So, this is, let's first try doing the help mating 2 part. And the first solution goes knight into a3, bishop to b4, king to a4, bishop c6. Already we can see a battery mate and a model mate because a5 is covered only once by the knight, b5 only once by the bishop, the, rook, uh, the b4 square only once by the rook, the pawn on b3 by the a2 pawn, and the knight on a3. Uh, the a3 square is not attacked by any of the white pieces, only the black knight. Therefore, this is a model mate. The second solution goes e4, rook into e4, king c6, rook b4 mate. And again, we observe another model mate. Since b5, b6 both are only covered once by the rook on b4, b7, d5 are covered once by the bishop, c5 and d6 are covered by the knight, and finally c7 is, and d7 are covered by the two different pawns. And already we start to see some interesting ideas. We observe model mates in both solutions, and so to understand the full idea, let's put letters on each of the white moves in the solutions. So bishop e4 is a, bishop c6 is b, rook e4 is c, and rook b4 is d. Now, in the help stalemate, all of these moves change cyclically. So, knight d4, bishop c6, so that was b, king c4, rook e4, that was c. And this is of course a stalemate and a model stalemate because c5, b4, b3, c3, d3, uh, b5 and b5 all are covered only once. Okay, now knight to b4, rook into b4, king a6, bishop e4. And we see the final solution. So it was a, b, c, d in the help mating 2 and b, c, d, a in the help still mating 2. And to top it off, the black king performs a star. That is to go to all four diagonal squares to the black king. So that is a6, c6, c4, and a4. And of course, all four solutions are model mates. Overall, a masterpiece. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.